Hey guys, it's Kevin at the Air Zoo. It's September, and that means it's Panels Off Month, which is a great time to see what's behind the panels and cowlings of different aircraft. We're standing here in front of the museum's Grumman F6F Hellcat, a carrier-based aircraft from World War II. This aircraft is powered by a Pratt & Whitney R2000-10W, an 18-cylinder air-cooled radio engine with water injection. It has a single speed mainstay supercharger and a two speed secondary or auxiliary supercharger. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Hellcat's air intake systems, which is much easier to see now that part of the cowling's been removed. At the front of the Hellcat, you can see three air inlets just below the engine. Two that are identical here at the five o'clock and seven o'clock positions and one large opening here. The biggest inlet, the chin inlet, splits into two parts. The lower part continues towards the rear of the aircraft and forces air through the oil cooler. Air then passes out of the oil cooler wastegate, which can be hydraulically actuated from a control in the cockpit. The upper part of the chin inlet duct rises up and splits again into left and right channels. These feed fresh air into the secondary supercharger at the back of the engine. That air is compressed and then cooled as it passes through intercoolers on both sides of the aircraft. Cooling this compressed air before it enters the carburetor and main supercharger ensures optimal engine performance at altitude. Within the duct, there is a gate or door that can stop air from feeding the secondary supercharger when it isn't needed. The secondary supercharger on the Hellcat had three modes. Neutral, where the impeller is not being driven, low speed, and high speed. At about 12,000 feet, they selected the low speed, and when operating at 25,000 feet or higher, the high speed was selected. At all times, the carburetor and main supercharger needed to have air. This air was fed through this main stage air inlet cleverly located here behind these flaps. Air entering these inlets would mix with the air coming from the secondary supercharger when engaged. Now let's take a look at those two smaller inlets. One noticeable thing is the ductwork for these inlets are actually part of the panel itself. When the aircraft is moving, air is fed through this duct and through the intercooler, which you can see here. This cools the compressed air coming from the secondary supercharger. Very clever. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at one aspect of the F6F Hellcat. Visit the Air Zoo for our Panels Off Month all September.